Hello, this is Dr. Amin Marashi, retina specialist in Marashi Eye Clinic in Aleppo, Syria. This presentation attempted to show how to handmade a suprachoroidal needle injection technique and a case report. The idea is to make a needle that is cheap, easy, with available material. This needle should only penetrate 1000 microns into the conjunctival scleral complex at the pars plana 4 mm from the limbus to inject triamcinolon in the suprachoroidal space. The tools needed are scissors, calibers, blade, lure slip syringe, and 30 gauge needle. Manufacturing starts by measuring the full length of the needle, including the part embedded in the needle plastic. Here the measurement is 19 and a half millimeter. Please remember that needles do not all have the same length. The next step is to prepare the rubber part of the stopper by using scissors to remove the rubber seal's ramification. The rubber seal is removed from the plunger. Then scissors are used to make a central cut in the rubber seal throughout the leading ring. It is essential to make sure that the surface of the leading ring is smooth and even. The next step is to prepare the plastic stopper by measuring 2.5 mm less as 1 mm for the needle and the 1.5 mm is added due to the additional thickness of the rubber seal. Then the blade is used to cut the syringe according to the measurements. Now the rubber stopper is installed to the prepared plastic lure slip. Then the 30 gauge needle passes through the hole is made earlier in the leading ring of the rubber seal. Then the plastic lure slip is fitted to the plastic part of the 30 gauge needle. The exposed part of the 30 gauge needle should be only 1 mm. In cases, the exposed part of the needle is less than 1 mm, then remeasurement of the earlier prepared plastic lure slip is rasped again until the appropriate measurement is achieved. Here is another way to prepare the rubber seal, which needs additional instruments such as irrigating cannula and needle nose pliers. After cutting and preparing the rubber seal and mounting it to the plastic lure slip, the needle nose pliers are used to straighten the irrigating cannula, then is impaled in the rubber seal through the leading ring and then the 30 gauge needle is fitted to the cannula and used as a guide to pull the 30 gauge needle out of the rubber seal and then the plastic lure slip is fixed to the plastic part of the 30 gauge needle. This technique ensures that the leading ring of the rubber seal is smooth. This is a case of diabetic macular edema in pseudophagic vitrectomized eye from two years ago. The OCT cross-section shows cystoid macular edema. The injection technique is to mark 4 mm from the limbus in both cases of phagic or pseudophagic. Position the pivot of the needle away from the limbus. Insert the needle perpendicular to the sclera. Apply gentle pressure on the sclera while injecting the triamcinolone. Here is an OCT cross-section 24 hours post-injection showing reduction of central macular thickness and resolved cystic formation.